Hey what's going on guys, Nick and I here with the Clash Army and today I'm checking back in on my Town Hall 6 and we're going to just do a basic let's play. We're going to get some raids in, we're going to get some upgrades in, see what's going on and kind of talk about where to progress from here and uh, yeah just general updates. So this is my Town Hall 6, I have it in a defensive build right now, I don't really know uh, why I'm going to keep it like that but I figure I only play it a couple times a week because most of my time goes to my high level boom and my high level Clash of Clans account so um I don't have as much time, so as opposed to sitting down where there's like absolutely no loot in, you know, less than bronze, um, I decided to just put it in a defensive build. I may switch it up, especially for Town Hall 7, and maybe make the uh, Town Hall a little bit easier to get to, to defer people from going, you know, all out of my base. But it, it's been working out alright, so I'm mostly working on getting my level 6 walls, clearing out the trees, and only keeping the uh, the large triple bushy trees, I don't know actually what they're called, I, I, don't know, I have to look that up. Um, but let's go ahead and find a raid here. Looking for a base that's right. Um, my main priority is maxing my level 6 walls. I said that I was going to max my walls on every town hall of this account, and I'm going to stick to that, so I need some gold to max those walls. Starting at town hall 7 is when you could start using elixir to max your walls as well. So that'll definitely be a little bit of a, a burden lifted from my shoulders once you could start using elixir. This base here, let's experiment. It's got 100,000 of each. I wonder without wall breakers and without a clan, uh, what we can do here. I'm in my feeder clan, which is called Teach Bloom Beach. Uh, the main one right now, we're in YouTube All-Stars, but uh, after that I go to Angels and Devils. I may do a little bit of a, a, a world tour and uh, visit some clans right after the All-Stars ends before I hop back in my main one, which is, you know, a level 105+. plus. Uh, here we go, so let's see what we can do here. That mortar was definitely going to be a big factor, but I took it out with some lightning, and now it's all about that wizard tower. If we don't take him down, he will single-handedly end this raid, but if we do take him down right here, I think we're golden. So right there, the wizard is just laying into me. Oh man, that's actually pretty brutal. Come on, archers, finally take it down. And now we're ready to uh, infiltrate these walls and really just go for it here. So the goblins are amazing, especially when they're attacking things that aren't uh, resources because they just deal so much damages, damage to uh, defenses, town halls, all that stuff. Over here, we're going to put them to work, take out that gold storage, and then just weaken everything else for these archers to clean up right behind them. So we get the 50%. Not the most amazing raid in the world, but it's fun to see, like, to really test the abilities of troops at this low level. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know if you've got lower level accounts that aren't, you know, just all tunnel 9s, 10s, and 8s. Who else is new to the game? That's really the point of making this whole uh, beginner series so that I can experience both ends of the game. I think I'm going to stay at Tunnel 7 for a while when I get there and really max it out, take my time with it. And uh, this account has never bought gems, so I'm in a, I'm pretty close to getting my fourth builder, which costs a thousand gems. Uh, I'll probably be able to get four legit, and then I probably will never even try to get the fifth, unless later on we get up to, I think, uh, Champions League. I think Champions gives you... 2,000 gems, or was it 1,000 for masters? I don't know. It's something I gotta look it up again, but there are gems to be made. Uh, let's check out some defense while we wait for those troops to build. I just boosted the barracks because we should be able to get at least two more attacks, which is boosting the barracks as opposed to gemming all the troops done. Uh, I really only use the gems if I'm making a video like this, so you guys don't have to wait, and I don't have to like splice it up. We could do it all in one go here. So my clan was nice and gave me some witches, which. At this level, I couldn't even imagine facing a witch and having to, you know, deal with taking that out, which is what this guy has to deal with here. Um, King of War clan comes in with that purple shield. Speed it up a little bit, see what happens over here. The witches are still standing in there. Finally, those barbs take them out right there. And, uh, yeah, just a few more barbs. He did get a one star, but if you notice, my gold storage didn't go down, which was the point of that base. Uh, he did get a decent amount of loot, though, because I probably had been gone for a day or two. Let's build up some lightning spells, which I forgot about. Um, overall, I do want to work on the walls before the defenses. The defenses aren't that hard to upgrade. Uh, getting all the walls to 6, I'm not going to lie, I had a Town Hall 10. Uh, the first time, it was my first Town Hall 10, the one that you guys see on my main account. I was at the Town Hall 10 while I still had level 6 and seven walls. I now I have eight and nine. I'm almost, uh, you know, I'm probably halfway with all nines, but I would never go to Town Hall 10 again without at least eights, nines probably. Uh, tens and elevens are kind of excessive to get to Town Hall 10. You don't really need to do that, but 
I was like super rushed. I was tunnel nine with like level five and six walls, but looking back, it was such a different player back then. That's a good year and almost three quarters ago when I started playing. Um, it's crazy how life changing this game is. That's why I really like this low level account. I almost want to keep it like town hall six maxed out and then push as far as I can with it. That could be a pretty cool series too. So here we go, we've got uh, um, barbs and archers, you know, trying to take me out, but this guy couldn't really deal with how I had my uh, my single shot buildings just picking his guys off, and he actually lost. So I won that defense replay, which was kind of nice. I always have a few more troops to build here. With the boosted barracks, it doesn't take long at all. I just do the bag, barbarian, archer, and goblin. Uh, maybe a couple wall breakers would be a little bit of a, a nicer addition to it, but I really don't think I need them here. So let's just build up a couple more guys. Let me scroll over my video over here, and then we'll be uh, ready to raid in just a second here. All right, here's one last replay. This is Barbs and Archers, and the Archers in the bottom there coming in. And he did get the mortar. Wait, was this the same one we just saw? Um, no, because the other guy didn't get the mortar on top. So yeah, it's a slightly different attack, but really the exact same strategy. He did manage the one star though. So the base is holding up pretty well, no complaints. I did design it from scratch, and I, th I think it meets all the criteria of a, a solid trophy pushing base. So. Let's see what we got going on here. Finish up these barbs, finish up these archers, and finish up these goblins. And we're ready to go. We just need, how many troops do we need? It can't be many. Mortar level, uh, I, got, I think my mortars can go up one more level too. There we go, we're full, we're ready to raid. Let's start finding another base here, and then just go with it. So, wow, that's a really messed up base. I could have easily taken all that stuff on the outside, but I'm looking for that loot. Oh, an accidental drop. Uh, I was trying to hit next, I accidentally slipped, so I'm going to surrender because at this point I'm just farming a tunnel 6 and trophies really don't matter. I'm looking for that loot, so let's see what we could find loot wise or interesting base wise. Or you know if it's the worst base I've ever seen, I'll also go for that one too. So let's see what we got going on here. Who in Silver League has a base that we can take? Oh, um, I don't know. Hopefully this guy. Nope. 14,000 gold is just not going to cut it. Here's 56,000, but uh, 22,000 gold? Nah. What else can we get? What else can we get? Here's 30,000. No. A lot of people upgrade their walls like this guy here in that like check or like on and off pattern, and they really don't realize that the guys are, can just go for the weaker ones too. Um, still, her, still hunting here. I'm sure we will be able to find something pretty good coming up soon. And there's 40,000. Nah. How about this guy? 39,000? Nah. Uh, I guess there's really not too much loot down here. If you guys know a good range at Town Hall 6 to just find like massive loot, let me know. Uh, let's experiment on this base and see if we could just snipe all the buildings for 50%. He does have uh, 50,000 gold and he does have a lot of it in his mines and pumps. The gold and the elixir that is. So uh, here we go. Archers on the outside. Uh, they're taking out the army camps, the pumps, the mines, the builders huts. And now it's time to just lay down some barbs to speed this process up. So we'll uh, sprinkle some barbs over there, sprinkle some on the top. Another good thing about raiding bases like this, yes, I'm going to get a good amount of loot, but I'm not going to use all my troops because I'm only going to take this outer layer, get the win, and leave. So by the time I get home, if you're using simple tier 1 troops like these, you're actually able to raid again right then. So that's going to be another benefit of doing it like this. So let's see here. We're already at 42%, and there's still 4 barracks, 3 or 3 barracks, uh, 47%. Yeah, we got this. 49, we just need that clan castle or that barrack right there. Boom, down it goes. 52%. End the battle. Get a decent amount of loot. And look at this. We get home, and our troops are uh, going to be ready in just a second here. We really didn't put too many down. And I'm going to take a sip of tea and refresh my throat. Ah, oh, nothing like some green tea. Troops are ready to go, so we're ready to go. Let's find another base here. And, I mean, I wish I could say I want to find an awesome one, but I'm not really seeing any awesome ones down here. So, maybe some giants and wall breakers are in store for the next one. Ooh, look at this base here. 66,000 gold, that's good enough for me. It's all right there on the left side. A ton of it in those gold mines. So, let's sprinkle some barbs on the exterior and an archer wherever we can get one that's out of range of the defense to get some free percentage. And now it's just going to be a mayhem right here. I'm going to check the clan castle, nothing. Uh, now we're going to sprinkle some barbs. I am going to drop that clan castle because he's got, I think people hooked me up with level 5 barch. 
compared to my level 3 Barch, is absolutely going to wreck this guy. So here we go. Let's go all out and let's get a nice raid here to uh, finish off the raiding in this episode. So we've got Barbs, Archers, Goblins all coming up the bottom. And the uh, Goblins are going to go straight for the Elixir Pumps, which is great news for me because they're all just wiping it out. That one Mortar, though, is definitely the biggest factor. Now, this guy doesn't have a Wizard Tower yet, so I'm feeling pretty good. The Barbs are moving into the center, but oh... Between the mortar and those bombs, that was the perfect amount to wipe out all my barbarians right there. All right, archers are going to take the mortar right there. The goblins, see, this is what I was talking about earlier in the episode. The goblins are now ready to go ham on things that aren't defense or aren't storages or anything that has to do with resources. Look how easy goblins rip up that town hall, and now they're going to run over and rip up that archer tower. Boom, absolutely tearing it down, and now they're going to run and take out the wall, but I don't even think they need to, because the archers can probably finish off that cannon before the goblins even get through, and the goblins died anyway. So, there we go, a couple good raids, some, just basically a check-in video with you guys. I wanted to go ahead and share, um, I'm going to put my builder to work here, I'm going to throw him on, see, I'm keeping those big trees and the rocks. I'm super pumped for the winter update, I know it's a little, a couple months early, but Christmas update is my favorite time of year in Clash, favorite time to play, it looks awesome, and yeah, I just can't wait for it there. Throw my builder on the, or the elixir pump, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.